Hello everyone, my name is Anne Pais from Phoenix and I'm your PM Tutor. So I'm here to share some last minute tips to keep in your mind before you appear for the PM paper. Number one, make sure that you have an eye on your clock. Time management is very, very crucial. Make sure that you don't spend more than 1.8 minutes per mark. Number two, you must be thorough with the technical concept. If not, go back and read through and make it thorough. Number three, do not give more focus to the numerical bits. Both the numerical and the theory bits are equally important. Number four, make sure that you read the requirements twice before you start answering because there could be certain wordings that might make the requirement tricky and you must make sure that you notice it. And number five, the most important, make sure that you stay focused and calm throughout the exam. So I wish you all the very, very best for the exam. Make sure that you have a good time with the exam and you come out in flying colors. Hi, my name is Abby and one of the tax tutors at Phoenix Financial Training. I'm just here to give you some final exam tip before your real exam. There's four things I want you guys to do before the exam. The first is make sure that you go through the revision questions. It's always easy to go through the revision questions when you think that, oh, I solved the questions and it's easy to solve these questions when I've done it. But I want you to solve the questions personally so that you understand if you know where to apply the rules and in what performer to use. Second, go through the ACA pre-mock exam and the specimen exam that's there on the ACCA test reach platform. Both of these papers are set by your examiner so make sure that you understand your examiner, the way he brings in the questions, the kind of questions that he brings in by practicing these three questions. The answers are shared with you by the email as well. Third, go through the feedback of your final mock. There are so many students who come back to me and say they thought they did the final mock good, but then when they go to the feedback, they realize, okay, they didn't read the question carefully. They didn't know they had to time a portion in this element. So make sure that you understand the feedback I've given so that you don't make those mistakes in the real exam. Last, but the most important one, your summary sheets. Tax is all about rules. If you know the rules, it's easy to get through the exam. So please make sure the last two days before your real exam should only be on focusing these summary sheets. It might take you just 40 minutes to finish these summary sheets, but redo them again. Keep practicing, keep redoing these summary sheets before your real exam and I'm sure you can get through it. All the best. Hello guys, this is how to pass financial reporting this March 2024 sitting. There are three sections in the exam. Section A, Section B and Section C. My advice is that you start the exam with Section C, interpretation question. Why do I say that? It's because I think it's best to put your energy in Section C, interpretation first, then move on to your Section C, published accounts or consolidation question, and then move on to Section A and then Section B. Please make sure that you pay very, very special attention to your time. If you take time away from this equation, you will not be able to succeed. The only way to go through is by making sure you have your eyes on the clock. You have 36 minutes for the interpretation question in Section C, 36 minutes for the published accounts or consolidation question in Section C, and 54 minutes for each Section A and Section B. Now that was about exam format and timing. Main idea in your exam has to be the stress on the accounting standards. If you understand the accounting standards well, you will be able to apply them in section A, section B and section C of the exam. Do not cherry pick the topics, study everything in detail and I wish you the best of luck for this exam happening in March 2024. Hello all, welcome to the last and final tips before you go into your AA exam. This is Preeti, your AA tutor. Please keep in mind, before you go into the exam, you revise through your summary notes that has been handed over to you. That is your go-to document. Make sure you go through every single page in that because remember the theory questions are all included in that as well as the application bit as well. In terms of the application, make sure you go through the revision kit questions. Remember, you have the additional questions that has been given to you after the revision. Make sure you attempt them and when you're attempting them, you're attempting them within the time time conditions. Do not practice any questions without timing yourself. It is very, very important. And lastly, you need to keep in mind is about your approach on the day of the exam. Please make sure you do attempt starting with section B of the paper. Make sure you take two hours in total to do the section B questions and then move on to your section A. 
please don't do it the other way around because we would want to use the maximum amount of your energy in solving section B questions. Lastly, stay calm, keep focus on the day of the exam. Do not look around, just focus on your exam. All the very best guys and take care. Hi everyone, this is Mustafa Ali from Phoenix Financial Training and here are some last minute tips for your FM exam. The first tip I would give you all is practice, practice, practice. Practice as many questions as you can, go to the CBE platform and look at all the sample papers that the ACCA has prepared for you and practice them all. Secondly, I would say be aware of the theoretical topics in your curriculum. Theory makes up 60% of your exam and neglecting theory is a recipe for disaster. The third thing I would say is link everything to risk and reward. The risk is a very important factor in the FM curriculum and it plays an important role in every single topic in our course. The fourth thing I would say is make sure you use your brackets when you write your formulas because if you do not put the right brackets, your answer may not be right. So brackets are very important. They are vital for you to pass. Then I would say, make sure that you are aware of how to solve your MCQ questions. In some MCQ questions, what you do is you look for the right option. In others, what you do is you eliminate the wrong options. I hope these tips have been helpful and I hope you have an amazing exam. Best of luck and have a nice day.